since I've, uh, you know, this damn name even looking at me. It's been a little while since I've made a video or shown my progress. Anyways, I, uh, building stake sides for the, uh, trailer. So, we end up, uh, Ended up making these uh, uprights or couldn't find any dimensional one by two, so I made some. And then ended up uh, getting this all fitted together. <coughs> I sanded most of it all up. And I'll make a three, use three one by threes. <coughs> Obviously, didn't show me making these, <coughs> but I didn't think it was all that important. All we're doing is cutting some wood. I measured things right. This one will be flush here, and I'll have the other ones come <coughs> straight across. I don't know if this thing's looking at me. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Got a wider view than the books. Like I'm talking to my kid, they're not looking at me, but I guess they might be, I don't know. I'll put one here, and there'll be one right here. Yeah, I'm really making this way too nice. This was actually the original ones my dad made many, many, many years ago, probably. Oh, well, I've seen a picture of it in like 83 or 84, so... It's hung on there pretty good. I don't trust the, uh, I don't trust our wood nowadays to last that long. But this did. I'm in the debate of staining it and, and or, uh, clearing it, I don't know. It would sure be nice to do that so that it lasts. But <clears throat> anyways, um, some of the other things I did, I took my chain, I shortened it a little bit. Put a hook on it that it didn't have. Now it actually has hooks. It used to be looped through your hitch and I had a bolt holding and pinching the chains together on each one. My dad did that for decades and uh, now it has hooks. <laughs> it only took 20, 30 years. But uh, I got, I just put the wheels on. It's got the old tires. I got my new tires in. These are snazzy. I picked these up, I actually got them off a seller on eBay, and I got them in a couple days, so I'm pretty stoked about that. They might be a little shorter, it's hard to tell, you know, until you mount a bias ply up. You know, supposedly it's, it's supposed to be the same size as the G78, which I think is basically what that tire is, if I remember right. <clears throat> so, I don't know, we'll see. But I know I need to get back on getting these stake sides done because it's pretty much the last thing on this trailer before I will start using it next to the tires. I think I'll get it outside, throw it up on jack stands, and just pull the wheels off. Because I don't have any other uh, Chevy six lug wheels to roll it around. So I'm going to have to get it out where I want it outside and pull the wheels, send them in, break them down, get them blasted. I don't know if I'm going to powder coat or just paint them. I thought about powder coating them, but I don't know. We'll see. Let me uh, let me get back to working on this thing and make some headway. So we're continuing on doing the steak side today. Just using regular zinc coated um, carriage bolts and washers. And I'd put the lock washers on, but I put them on after I suck the bolts in a little bit because there's not enough threads to grab it with lock washers. So I'll put them on with washers, take the nuts off, lock washer, and that way when you get to tighten down the nut and the end of the bolts, it's pretty, uh, pretty flush. I was kind of going back and forth on which way I should face these. And my dad, when he built it, he put the uh, 
head out on this side. You know, I kind of think the looks is better on the inside, the nut being on the inside versus on the outside. To each of them, you know, really. I didn't see an advantage one way or the other, so. We're going to do it this way. Tape like this one here, so when I put this one lower than the bevel, I'll actually be able to shoot one above it on that try. I don't know if I'm going to be successful, but I will have enough room right here to stick one, so I'm going to try and punch one in right there. That's all it works. I probably shouldn't have beveled the front one. Oh well. doing these come with a real sharp edge on them so I was basically just sanding and rolling them over this one just needs to be touched up a little bit I was doing these uh, late at night last night why well, didn't really film a lot of the stuff because it was so dark we buzz these real quick
little long. Yeah, I think I did. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, it a little long. I couldn't remember when I had them in the front garage how long I cut them for the bottom one. Oopsies. Shorten her up. So, I'm going to go back out. I'm going to cut the other two down where it should be. And then maybe I'll take a break on this and go move some stuff around and pressure wash it. And we'll get back to this a little bit later. Too many things to do. I don't even know where to start. But we're almost done with this. And I'm still debating on if I really want to stain and seal this. I should. It's a lot of work. I hate for it to go to crap in the heat. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> so we're back. I did a little bit of pressure washing, so I could have videoed that. I was letting the camera charge up. Nothing exciting about pressure washing a bunch of green slime and garbage off vehicles. So here's where we left off. I just started clamping this back on here. Figured I'd throw these boards on and get this thing wrapped up. I keep thinking I really should put something on this to preserve it. Just so it'll last a little bit longer. Otherwise, in the weather up here, you know, it's always wet, nasty crappy weather this wood probably won't last long bare i mean it'll, it'll definitely gray it'll last for a while but i don't want to go to waste and all this work i've put into it i mean i mean this this garbage here lasted for for a good 20 or 30 years but this is also a lot older wood that's probably a lot tighter grain than the garbage you, you sell you know get from home depot now i mean i don't know you can see the, jeez, they just don't, uh, doesn't grow like it used to. You can see how tight the grains are on this versus this shit from Home Depot. They turbo grow the trees and I don't think the woods is good. So, you know, this stuff here, granted, it lasts as long as it did. I highly doubt this stuff will.
round those corners a little bit when I, if I put a piece of metal on there. It makes the metal fit a little bit better. on this this morning got most of the well you know I still in this morning obviously got most of this done and then because the weather was kind of nice I wanted to get some pressure washing done wash up some rigs because around here it just it's always damp moist and yeah moss that should be our our state flower or whatever mushrooms but anyways yeah every year I gotta go through and clean up the rigs outside I don't like letting them sit and get nasty I like to pull them out open them up wash them out if I didn't have so damn many it wouldn't be such a project but well you know I've got issues so anyways I think we're gonna end it for tonight here I will cut these probably should cut them tomorrow I'm tired enough I probably will screw the cuts up so I will cut these tomorrow right down the side of the uh, lights. We will see what unfolds. Oh, but I'm sore, tired, old, fat. I think we're gonna call it the night. Not bad. I'm happy with it. It's been a long time coming. I've had this thing for quite a few years and I've always wanted to do this. I always wanted to tear it all apart, repaint it. I didn't want to, I waited a, a bit long on the floor. The floor was wasted. But in all, in all honesty, I think it was kind of getting that way already when I got it. Just, I made it a lot worse. So, having to go to the extent, which I'm glad I did because I didn't like the bracing that was, it was not a whole lot of bracing underneath to begin with. And the way I did it, and I added in, uh, well, I think I added three more extra braces. And there was only technically two, and then and supports towards the rear with some garbage. So, yeah, I mean, I got five in there now. And the floor's the same gauge metal as, as what was the trailer was formed out of, which I think was 14 or 16 gauge. I don't remember. So it should be stout. But I always wanted to do this. I just kind of wanted, really wanted to do it when my dad was still alive. And he may not be Mr. Sentimental about some things, so I think I think he would have thought this is pretty cool. He would have thought I was crazy and stupid and wasting my money. I would have heard that for the entire project. But I think by the time he's seen the finished product, it would have been a whole lot different. That's just the way he is. He was like that with everything I did. Why are you doing that? Oh, that's stupid. Or you can do it this way. You do that. And it was usually cheaper half-assed stuff. <laughs> He doesn't usually do that. I don't know why he's been on this trip these last few years about cutting corners and stuff. But maybe it's old age and being tired. I don't know. But that's not the way. He taught me to do things. And it's funny that he argues with me about some of this stuff <coughs> that I did because he's the one that taught me how to do it. I think it's funny. But uh, yeah, I don't have that anymore, which kind of sucks. He, you think of it at the time you're you're uh, it's irritating you that he's griping at you how you're doing things but then when he's gone it's like you, you, you miss the mental beatings crazy ideas he's trying to get you to do instead of what you're doing or you know critiquing what you're doing I don't, I don't even have that anymore so it's kind of hard you know, pretty much talk to him every night. 
you know, where he'd call me or I'd call him and we'd just share what we did for the day and, you know, or what problems we ran into or what we accomplished or, hell, if we didn't do anything, we'd just talk about what we're going to do. <laughs> you know, we didn't do nothing. I don't, uh, I don't have that anymore. I just kind of do stuff now. I tell my mom about it, and she, you know, but I, I get it. I mean, she don't, it's not really her thing per se, and I'm sure she doesn't know really what to say, which is fine, you know. It's different. I miss him. I'm this way because of him. My kids aren't, though, which is kind of weird. I thought maybe my son would get into it, but. Maybe with a little bit of age and maturity, it might come around. I just hope I'm not too incapacitated by then to do or teach him stuff or, you know, do it with him. I'm hoping. We'll see. I was like that too at one time. But I, I don't know. I was into cars the whole time. That was a crazy thing. Different generation, different whatever. Anyways, I'm rambling on. I'll be like, shut up already and do something or shut the video off. So, anyways, it's looking good. I'm happy with it. Enough of that. I'm rambling. It's late. I'm tired. Time to stick a fork in this and be done with it. Uh, oh, I did show you my tires, right? I think I did. These are the <clears throat> new bias ply tires. Got two of them. They're Carlisle's. They are real biases. Uh, 205, 70, 15 supposed to be equivalent to the G78, which is what one of the tires is. I think this one is a 825.15, whatever the hell that is. But doing my research, it's hard to tell uh, if I roll these up to it, because when you air the bias ply up, obviously it gets a little bit bigger once aired up. But... Uh, they look a little bit smaller than what's on there now. And the only other size I had was a two, uh, 225 75, and that was way too wide. <clears throat> the suggested size was these 205s. And I may not like them. We'll see. They might be just fine. I could go with a two. I think it was a 225.75. They end up getting a little bit tall, and the price was quite a bit more. I think I only paid $76 a piece for these. And then uh, you step up to the 225s, and now you're up around $96 a piece. So I bought tubes for it too. Hopefully, they're not cheap shit. Don't ask me how I figured that crap out. I just did. A lot of reading one night. All of a sudden, I've become too knowledgeable about tires and tubes and crap. But when you're out trying to buy your own stuff, <clears throat> you kind of got to get edumacated. So we're going to call this. All right. Till tomorrow. So it's been a little while. I've been busy with other things and trying to get some stuff done. So it's kind of like been piecemeal. There wasn't enough time to really set up a camera to capture what I was doing. But I ended up stained it last night <coughs> at like 2 o'clock in the morning. So, And I didn't have the camera charged up, of course. So anyways, I got to clear it tonight. Did kind of a quick stain job to it. It was getting late. I actually picked the wrong color. I decided on it. I had like I had like four or five different stains I was trying out. And there was actually a lighter one I was going to go with. And I just, it just happens when you're, oh, dark early in the morning trying to finish things. I grabbed one of the cans I thought was the color and I drug it out here. And I, the second I threw it on there, I went, oh, crap. But eh, I don't know. It don't look bad. It'll work. It's something's better than nothing. I was trying to make it a little bit lighter. You know, the, the stain I chose, which I can't remember if it was Puritan Pine or whatever the crap it was, was a little bit lighter than this. And with the uh, 
dissimilar woods like this. I think this is like a fir, and this is maybe a pine or some sort. Um, they actually turned out pretty good when I was doing test pieces. These were, the stain was quite a bit different, but when it come down to putting it on here, after I realized it was too late, uh, the dissimilar woods, you know, the fur and the stuff here, it ended up being uh, not too bad. So I'm just going to throw a semi gloss clear on it. I mean, um, again, probably going way overkill. But, you know, what the hell? Might as well do her and do her up real nice, even though I'm just going to throw a bunch of yard debris crap in it and tear it all up. It'll look nice for a little while. That's the whole point, right? I look at it as it gets me a, a chance to practice some of this crap that I haven't done in a while, and I've never been really, uh, really much of a woodsy, stainy kind of guy, so I don't know. Maybe I'll put stake sides on my 56 pickup someday. I don't know. But uh, anyways, I'll get going on... Uh, clearing this thing up so I can get this stupid thing done. I need to get this trailer outside. So I need to stop jaw jacking and get this done. Because I got other projects that I need to get back onto. Plus, I'm kind of splitting my time working over at mom's house. Because I have been cleaning it up. I cleaned up a couple of the cars over there uh, the other day. And started cleaning the area up. Because it just kind of, kind of gone by the wayside since dad got sick. So... Getting her back in order, getting things cleaned up, fixed up over there. So anyways, time to get to work. Done with the trailer. Tires are on and mounted. And the wheels. She's ready to work finally. It took me forever. I didn't think I'd ever get this thing done. But it's done. Dun dun dun. The only thing I might add to it, I may add a little um, registration box. They make some aluminum ones you can screw in. I might uh, put a little re registration box down there <coughs> on the uh, down this area here somewhere. That way I can carry the registration on it. Not that anyone else is going to be towing it, but you never know. So, yeah. <sighs> Finally done. <laughs> 